On this planet, we have a place that's considered the most dangerous place in the world just because of the animals. And you might be able to guess it, Australia. We've made plenty of videos about Australia's wildlife, but we've never made a video about this creature, the most venomous snake in the world. The Inland Taipan. Everybody knows the cobra because they're plentiful, especially in India. If you don't extract the venom from a cobra, it could be extremely dangerous. And with one bite, you can go bye-bye. But that's if you don't go to the hospital to receive the care you need. But when the cobra hears the name Inland Taipan, it goes back into the basket because the competition is not even close. The venom inside the Taipan is 23 times more potent than the cobra. When the cobra bites its prey, it puts an insane amount of venom inside the person's body, around 420 milligram. With this much venom, you could kill 2600 mice. But the inland type and venom has a lot more than that. And it doesn't extract that much venom only 44 milligrams each bite. But with this very low amount of venom that's extracted from its mouth, it could kill 220,000 mice. The amount of venom is one-tenth of the cobra, but it's a hundred times more deadly. You see this red color inside the center of Australia? This is where you can find the Inland Taipan. If you ever consider going to Australia, just avoid these sections because the chance of confronting this creature is quite high. If someone is not careful and is bitten by the Inland Taipan, what will happen? If you get to the hospital quickly, they have the anti-venom that could save your life. But the time is the most important part. In 45 minutes, this venom will kill you. Let's say we get to the hospital in under 45 minutes and we receive the anti-venom. Is everything gonna be okay? You will most likely live, but living comfortably is not guaranteed because this venom, if it enters your body, it does a lot of damage and sometimes those damages could be permanent. But let's get to know the inland type and a little bit better and realize how it evolved to be this dangerous. Scientists haven't been able to figure out why snakes evolved this way and why some of them have venom. Scientists know that ancient snakes like the Titanoboa had power and they were not venomous. So they would use their strength to strangle their prey and eat them. But the more we move forward, the weaker these snakes get and more dangerous in terms of venom. In ancient times, most snakes lived in jungles so they can hide between bushes and trees and wait for their prey to show up so they can attack. But when we get to around 20 million years ago, most of these jungles started to turn into savannas and that means it's open area where this snake can no longer hide. Giant snakes could not stay alive in places like this anymore because they were so giant they couldn't chase the prey and they were so big they couldn't hide either and this would cause them to not be able to eat and basically go extinct. In simple terms, the snakes lost their size and strength but in return they received venom because they were lacking an attack weapon now. And of course all of this takes millions of years. When you compare venoms from different snakes from around the world, each of them have different types of chemicals and toxin that make it up. And that means each snake in its own environment evolved differently and it evolved in a way where it was most effective towards the prey that was available in the area. The favorite food of venomous snakes around the world are small mammals. 
But the place the inland Taipan lives, it's very brutal. Hot, dry, and there's barely any greens. And unlike other places, you can barely find food. Scientists have a theory that maybe the inland Taipan has such a dangerous venom is because food is so scarce that if it actually attacks a prey, they want them to for sure die. So they didn't want a chance for the prey to escape whatsoever. When an inland Taipan attacks its prey, it tries to bite them more than one time because it wants to make sure it dies rather than escape even though the first bite would have killed them anyways. So when the venom enters a body, what does it do? First and foremost, it releases enzymes that cause inflammation and another enzyme that causes your blood to clot so it doesn't flow freely. The way the blood clot works is that it doesn't allow blood to go into your muscles and you could say it kind of causes paralysis and that is why when some people receive the anti-venom they could never be the same because it has done permanent damage to their body parts. When the venom enters the body the first and foremost goal is the kidney and anything in the way it gets damaged and it has happened plenty of times that people have received the anti-venom after being bitten and they still experience kidney failure the most important food the snake eats is mice and when it actually bites a mice it instantly paralyzes them from the neck down and that means the mice is still alive and it could see everything but it can't move and that is why the snake is probably eating it alive. Scientists say the number one chemical inside the inland type and venom is paradoxin, which is not venomous by itself, but rather it has so many different types of chemicals inside it that makes it a super venom. It seems like inside the body of the Taipan, there's an evil scientist trying to create the most toxic venom known to man. Nature is fascinating and it's also terrifying. And nowadays the world is small and thanks to the internet, most people know what is going on around the world and are familiar with an animal like this. And now we realize in the center of Australia, what is happening and what type of a dangerous animal lives there. A snake like this could kill 220,000 mice with only 44 milligrams of venom. Old war factories that were creating dangerous chemicals to kill people can't even create such dangerous venom. So that is the reason the venom of these snakes are very rare and extremely expensive. Like for example, the cobra venom, which is plenty full, especially in India, is $150 per gram. But the inland Taipan venom cannot be sold to just anybody. Only Australia has it, and they sell it to laboratories only for experiments and testing. And the price of it is around $10,000 a gram. It is still not the most expensive venom in the world. The most expensive venom belongs to this creature, a scorpion called the Death Stalker. Each gram of this venom costs $11,000. You have to know that around the world, you can find scorpion farms that are only made for their venom. You can find them for snakes, but they're mostly for scorpions. Like what you're seeing is a facility that farms venom from scorpions. What is this venom used for anyway? All around the world, there are certain scientists and laboratories that would love these venoms only for testing and experimenting. But there are pharmaceutical companies that also buy these venoms to put in different drugs. Like for example, Stanford University has their own scorpion farm so they can get the venom for their own scientists to study. One example is that in drugs that are meant for arthritis, you might be able to find venom from scorpion because it has painkiller agents.
There are farms for snake venom as well, but not as common, and you could find them in different drugs. Like some venoms from snakes are meant to lower blood pressure, so you can see them in blood pressure medication. But the number one customer for these venoms are laboratories that are meant for testing and experimenting, so they can figure out what else they can use it for. All around the world, you could also find experts that catch these venomous snakes and grab their venom and go sell them. But you have to be extremely experienced to handle a venomous snake like this in the wild, so we don't recommend it.